What's up, Android fanatics? This is TechFanatic9 from AndroidTech.blogspot.com, and today I'm be showing you how to install CM10, yes, CM10, on your T-Mobile T989 Galaxy S2 phone. This is not not CM9, not CM8. This is CM10 Jelly Bean. Now, I just want to give you one warning that I highly do not recommend that you use this as a permanent driver. As the driver, I mean, don't use this for your daily use. If you work, if you, if you use it for contacting people, if you use it for web browsing, anything. If you use your phone and rely on it for any reason, do not use this. You can try it out, you can install it, and then once you're done trying it out, go back to your old RAM or go back to stack or whatever, okay guys? Because this is not very stable. It's only an alpha. The latest version is only 0.3, not even 1.0, only 0.3. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is just fire on your laptop and plug it into your computer. Let's plug it in via micro USB and the other side through USB port. Now let me adjust the camera to go to, to go to the computer. And one more thing that you you must have Clockwork Not Recovery installed. If you don't have it installed, just click right there on how to install it on your T989 phone. Once you got that done, you can see my phone is plugged in. And we're just going to try and USB storage. So, I'm going to slide this down. Go ahead and tap on that and turn on USB storage. Wait until it turns orange and then we'll go to our computer. Okay, it's orange. Now we're going to go to the computer. And you can see right there that I have... It doesn't matter, this will work on both Mac and Windows as long as you just transfer the files. So you're going to be transferring these two zip files right here into your internal or external SD card of your phone. So I'm just going to transfer these two on to my, I'll go into my internal. And this will take a few minutes, so I'll be back once it's done. Okay, just finished transferring, now we're going to go back to our phone. So just unplug your phone. And we don't need any, the computer anymore, so you can just shut down the computer and we're just going to be doing everything else on our, on our phone. Okay, now we got the, those two zip files transferred into internal, external. I just cut our phone and we have Clock Remote Recovery already installed. If you don't have it installed, look again, it's right here. Make sure you have Clock Remote Recovery installed. Okay, you got all that done. Now it's going to be entering into recovery mode. So you're going to be holding down all three buttons. Volume up, volume down, and power button. Keep holding until you feel the vibration. When you feel the vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding into the volume up and volume down button. And if, the, if you think I'm talking too fast or you can't understand me or anything like that, I will have a step-by-step -step guide within 24 hours. It will be in the description once I get it up. Alright, I'm in recovery mode. Like again, press all three buttons, let go of the power when you feel vibration, keep holding the volume up and volume down buttons. Okay, now we'll be on here, let me zoom in so you get a better angle on that. And we're just going to be going into, insta first we're going to be doing a dark side super wipe. So make sure you have that zip file already in there. If you don't know what dark side super wipe is, it'll be in the description of the video. So we're first going to do a dark side super wipe. wipe. <laughs> so choose it from SD card and then find the dark side super wipe. So make sure that that will clear all your data and it will do a factory reset, it will do everything. It will like clear all the caching and all that. This will help you get rid of all the problems, boot, boot loop problems, breaking your phone and all that. So I highly recommend you do this. And once again, if you don't know what Darkside Super Wipe is and you need to get the zip file, I will have a link in the description to the video of what, what it is all about it. Okay, and now it's complete. You know when it's complete, when it says install from SD card complete and you have these options once again. So now we're going to go and choose it from SD card and find that first file. The first is, it was called T989 King underscore 0 0.3. As you can see right there, the one underneath that, T989 King underscore point zero three dot zip. Choose that one, press power to select it, and go down to yes once again, and press power to select it. Okay, now once that is done, we're going to go back and install the Google app for Jelly Bean. So, that second zip file, we're going to be finding that. So, go back to choose zip, from S zip, choose zip from SD card and find that gapps-jellybean. As you can see right there, underneath that blue one, gapps-jellybean. Right there, so, and press power to select it. Select yes. And wait till this is done. Okay. 
Okay, once you got that done, we're just gonna be doing a reboot. And then you'll be on CM10 Jelly Bean. And once again, I do not recommend that you keep this as a driver. Just use this, you can just try it out and see if you like it. But do not, just do not. So just go back and reboot your phone. This will take about 10 minutes, so please be patient. As you can see, it's starting up. And you can see right away, you got the new boot animation. So I'll be back when this is done booting up. Wait at least 10 minutes before commenting, please. Okay, just finished booting up. You can see right away, there's no little Android here. As you usually see on the start screen with an ice cream sandwich. So I'm just going to be skipping through all this. And now you are in the official CM10 Jelly Bean for your Galaxy or yeah yeah for your Galaxy T989 T-Mobile phone guys T989 phone. So I'm just gonna go into settings and show you that it is actually on there. Let's go into settings and you can see right away that all the status bar and everything is changed to Jelly Bean. And let me tell you one thing, this is super smooth. So I'm just gonna go into about phone and show you guys that it is on 4.1 right there. And there you go guys, you can see everything else if you want, Cyanamod version 2, alright and it's unofficial because they never have it, this is support from Team Kang, they are very good, very reliable, so check back, back in about a month or so and they might have a better version, more stable for you to use as a daily driver, but just check on there, I will have a source in the link in the description below and the step by step guide and I will link with that to the source to the forum. So this is how you install Jelly Bean CM10 on your Galaxy Galaxy T989 T mobile phone. Thanks for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to support me as this does keep helping me to make more videos. Shows that you need the videos, shows that you're supporting me. So please don't forget to subscribe or rate as those both do help me out. Thank you guys and don't forget to check out AndroidTechGuyBoxWeb.com. See ya.